All right, everybody, today we're gonna to talk about navigation. We're gonna run some navigation courses, down, dirty, simple. That's my wheelhouse. What? Yeah, that's what I said, my wheelhouse. You know, I'm just so good at it, I don't even know why I'm at this class. What do you mean that's your wheelhouse? Yeah, I'll just blow through it, that'll be great. Wheelhouse. Okay, well if you can just, uh, just go along with the class. If it's your wheelhouse, go along, get it done. We'll send you out first so you can blow, blow through it. Wheelhouse. Okay. Bullsh**. So honestly, what's the problem? Mr. Wheelhouse is obviously good at navigation, or maybe he's not. Either way, even an advanced person, even somebody who knows a lot about navigation, who is dead on with all the tactics and techniques, can still mess it up. And I know this personally because it recently happened to me. I was putting in a new navigation course at my school here, and I thought, something doesn't seem right, because every time I was shooting the bearing on this one specific leg, it just didn't, it was different. And I had to step back and think about it for a second, and I was like, man, it's almost like a rookie mistake, but it's something you don't think about all that often. And that is that this compass is, yes, magnetic. Now it's like, yeah, we all know that, okay? But it's little things, it's little things that you overlook a lot. So we're out on a nav course and we are shooting some bearings. We have a lot of stuff going on. We're opening up our little notebook and we're writing in it. But a lot of times, we have this thing with us, the good old cell phone. And guess what? So you can see, just with a simple move of the cell phone, we're varying close to 12 to 15 degrees, one direction or the other. So literally something as simple as taking that cell phone that we all carry all the time and sticking it inside our binder and then putting our compass on top can create havoc for us. It can just mess up everything that we've been working towards on that navigation course. So it's something that you need to think about. And that also pertains to any other type of metal objects that we just might not think about because we're so focused on the task at hand. Guns can be a big one. I talked to a student this weekend who was on a hunt in Colorado and he said he felt as if his compass wasn't working. Now that is a normal experience for most people who are lost. They feel that they know the direction and the compass might be broke. But he quickly realized that he was getting different readings from the same location and realized that he had his gun across him. And that was somebody who has hunted their whole lives, has used a compass a lot, and yet they struggled and didn't realize that was there. So it's just another thing to think about. And then lastly, something you also need to think about is metal rings on your notebooks. A lot of these write and rain notebooks, they just have plastic rings on them, so it's not too much of a worry. But you still wanna double check and make sure you don't have those metal rings. I had some individuals who were mapping out on the ground a self map that they just created and their bearing were off and it was because they were using those metal rings on the edge of their notebook as a measuring tool. So although they thought it was a good idea, it was pulling the compass off and it wasn't right. So you have to think about it. So even though you're very experienced and you're like Mr. Wheelhouse that we talked about earlier, you still need to think about all those little things because it's those little things that are going to separate success from failure. So this was Dan Wallach of Cold Cracker Bushcraft. I hope you take this into consideration when you're out and you're doing any type of navigation because it can make a huge, huge difference and it might actually be the difference between life and death depending on the situation you're in. Thank God for all of us, we're just on some nav courses here and Mr. Wheelhouse, he's gonna be okay. So as always, check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com and until the next video, stay in the woods.